Hey everybody, Ed0626 here, and for the first time in this channel's history, we are bringing you Modern Warfare 2019 gameplay 2v2 gunfight sweat fest mode. And uh, before I start the video, I gotta say, I gotta really applaud Infinity Ward and Activision for releasing this little bit of gameplay for this week, this past weekend. Uh, a lot of people were questioning whether or not this game was going to be in a playable state come the beta when that we all knew that was going to come but you know i'm thoroughly impressed with how infinity ward and activision have handled this because now that we've gotten our hands on you know gameplay with 2v2 gunfight as small as it may be we can actually get some sort of a feel for the game and some of us might actually have an advantage come the beta so and i also want to add that this alpha ran really smoothly for me I, I never had an issue connecting to games i never had a lag issue the only issue i ever had and i think it might be more of a playstation end than a uh what was it it might be more of a playstation end than a uh game end my me and my one of my buddies hitman 26 we tried joining each other for a solid 20 minutes we tried everything and then we ended up joining each other which was good but i think that's more of a playstation issue than a uh alpha issue because that's been happening for a couple weeks now but overall game ran smoothly and i'm looking forward to how smoothly it might run or i'm looking forward to see how smoothly it might run in the beta so without further ado let's get straight into my review of this gunfight mode now i gotta be honest with you this might be the only ever time i touch this game mode because this is just a fucking straight up mlg sweat fest with some of these maps and some of these players so i figured might as well get my fix in now because i'm never touching this shit again my first interp my first thing i wanted to talk about is hit detection hit detection for the most part was really good for me there were some things here and there that i'll get to in a second but uh other than that you know hit detection every shot i every shot i had hit the guy more or less so, it, I can't really complain about that. I know Infinity Ward is always said to have better hit detection than Treyarch. So, that's that. Uh, but, yeah. Every, like, right there. Shot that dude square in the upper upper neck head area. And every every bullet hit. And he died pretty, pretty fast. However, despite this, the player movement for some reason to me feels like I'm moving in quicksand. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the fact of the gun you're using or the, uh, the equipment you're using. But player movement feels like I'm really moving really slow. In addition to that, the ADS speed is really slow. Like, I don't know what it is, but I could be aiming down a sight with, you know, an AK-47 or an M4 or something like that. And for some reason, there would be guys strafing right and left next to me, and I, I, my ADS speed is not fast enough to combat that and I would there were a couple of times where I would die because of that and I would get frustrated saying to myself why do I have to have this problem because it was really really annoying so I hope it's just the thing where it's like you have to equip, equip stock and maybe stock isn't really a thing that is focused on in gunfight but we'll have to see come the beta recoil is definitely a learning curve uh, pistols and ARs I find this more relevant than anything maybe even the lmgs sometimes too but the odin is pretty controllable if you if you get that chance to use it properly or whatever in this game but for ars i find it most i find the recoil to be the most prevalent if you're like using the ak i guess it's just the type of round that it's, it's used in the game or whatever but it's like it's a fucking kick it's a kick fest, but if you're able to control it, good luck. But I will say this much, the AK-47, absolutely fucking brilliant in this game. I look forward to using that in the beta. Uh, some of the customizations in this game were like having me really questionable, especially with the Deagle. So in my opinion, this is just my opinion, if the Deagle has a sight on it, I find it to be pretty trash. Maybe it's just how I am as a player. I don't like to have sights on my pistols. I find that to be incredibly clunky. The only the only pistol I would ever have a sight on is Battlefield 4's G18, which I kind of feel needs a red dot to begin with. 
So that's really the only time I would ever have a sight. But this Deagle with the fucking two times scope or where an ACOG scope, that to me that shit's clunky. I'm not a fan of it, but of course I can't really do anything about it because it is a randomly assigned gun. The game did feel a little bit clunky at times as well, I'm not going to deny that. Uh, and it's an alpha, they're probably going to smooth it out come the beta or release, so I'm not going to harp too much on it, but it's definitely noticeable as everything else was. This game, man, the other problem I have with this game too is the head glitching, man. These maps are specifically made for head glitch galore central. That's, that's literally what some of these maps are made for, and it bugs me. And I have a really bad feeling come the beta, everybody's going to be using this lean mechanic. Everyone's going to be hopping over with their head barely poking out. I'm going to be standing out in the fucking open like a fucking dumbass, thinking, oh, I'm going to kill this guy. And nope, I would just get absolutely fucking decimated because this guy's in a fucking head glitch. So that's that. Another thing I want to mention, and I'm not sure if it's just how bad my eyesight is or some shit, but... There are ma some maps in this game, like Pine, where... The players really, really blend into the map. Like, the color of the players really blend into the map. And I'm, I'm saying to myself, holy shit, uh, I, I, I wouldn't be able to fucking see this guy if I didn't see the red name on his head. And even then, I have to, like, guess where he is sometimes. I'm sitting here like, what the fuck is this guy? I see his name, but I don't see his body. So, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's a brightness thing or whatever, but some of the colors on the map, the soldiers definitely definitely blend in with one another of course we don't really have the customization that uh we had in the alpha which we might get in the main game or the beta so i'm not too too worried about that because visibility might be a little bit better but it's something i want to keep myself aware of and that you should be kept aware of as well uh like i said before 2v2 is a fucking mlg sweat fest like i said it's it's definitely a gun a game i'm not gonna play too too often it's just not uh enjoyable for me it's actually quite repetitive after a while especially when you play the same fucking map for the alpha three or four times uh like especially doc doc i fucking hate it. i don't know what the fuck they were thinking when they created that map but that map is a failed abortion that is the worst map i played in this entire alpha it's just fucking trash the layout makes no sense to me whatsoever Another thing I want to talk about is the shotguns. Shotguns, to me, to me, I feel are inconsistent. I feel that they're actually very inconsistent. I feel like if I shoot someone at a very close range, I should kill them. And sometimes I would shoot some guy, decent range, I would get a hit marker. He shoots me from roughly the same range, I die instantly. I don't get that. I don't like it. It bothers the living shit out of me. It really does. I have to be honest with you. But I just hope they can fix that sort of thing. Because, like, other than that, the hit detection was really good. But it's just so annoying when you're, like, shooting a dude with a shotgun. And he's just... Somehow he's alive. And then he shoots you with one shot at a, at a similar distance. And a, probably a similar spread. That's the other thing, man. The shotguns don't have spread in this game. I... I feel like they act as a fucking assault rifle, where you shoot the guy, you shoot the guy, but he's just, I don't even fucking know. He, you shoot the guy and he fucking, he doesn't die. It's like it's like a straight line with shotguns sometimes. I feel like there's no fucking spread or barely any spread, and that kind of annoys me. Anyway, guys, that is my review of the 2v2 Gunfight Alpha. I hope you all enjoyed. Do feel free to... You know, subscribe, comment, like, do whatever you want to do. I look forward to playing the, the beta of this game, and I look forward to hopefully getting it upon its release on my 8th year YouTube anniversary. So that's something to definitely look forward to. And a uh, shout out to my buddy Dante, who was in the second gameplay with me, absolutely smacking the shit out of the enemy team we were facing. Uh, his links will be down in the description below, and also shout out to him because he got me the beta code. So, for, without further ado... Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and have an awesome day. God bless.